Let's improve your TOEFL speaking confidence with our first episode of TOEFL Talk with Noteful. So hello everybody, my name is Joseph from Noteful, here to help you improve your TOEFL score. And I'm really excited to introduce a new series, where, which I'm going to introduce you to right now, which is really meant to support you and guide you to TOEFL success. Uh, mainly for those of you who are looking to make the biggest improvements in the TOEFL, uh, really have top requirements, you want to get 100 overall, whether you're new to the TOEFL or you've been on the journey for a long time, this series is meant to do something that we noticed was missing a little bit, and that's that regular, comfortable guidance answering your questions, keeping you motivated, and really supporting you with your studies until you get your dream score. Because some of us are taking the TOEFL, right? And we just want to do our best in a week or two, three or four weeks and be done with it. And many of us also need top required scores, right? For graduate school, for licensing, pharmacy, physical therapy, dentistry, just so many different things. So we notice that it can be tough. It can feel lonely when you're really working hard week after week. So what we're going to do in this series is three things, right? Because this series is meant to connect with everybody at every level of uh, TOEFL knowledge, whether you're starting your TOEFL studies or you've been off and on for a few years, right? We've had students who've sometimes been on this journey for five to ten or, or however familiar you are familiar <laughs> you are with Noteful, which, you know, this could be your first video with us, this could be your hundredth, you might have taken classes, all kinds of different things before, but really meant to support you all. So how are we going to do that? Well, on the screen, what you see is the three topics to keep things simple about how to help you uh, with this series. So the first is vocabulary. So what we've started to do in our classes and our small group tutoring, I'll talk more about that at the end, is really notice it's important that as I speak to use my natural vocabulary to help you build your own and also to use vocabulary as a way not only to teach you how to succeed on each section. Today we're going to talk about TOEFL speaking confidence soon, but since this is the first episode we can call it, I wanted to start with a little introduction first. So we're going to do anywhere from, you know, I think three to five new vocabulary words to really help you on your journey to success. And the next thing that I really want to do to create that sense of our working together, that this really is for you, is give you a chance to submit your questions to the TOEFL, what you're struggling with as you're studying for the TOEFL uh, overall or for the reading, listening, speaking, writing, uh, how to deal with things when you take your exam to get your dream score now as quickly as possible. And finally, always ending with a sense of partnership because however new you are to Noteful or however familiar you are, I want to keep giving you a sense of what's there to help you because we've been doing this you know, for 12 years now, right? ever since the internet-based Toefl came out. So really anything that you need help with there's something there to help you and then it's just a matter of effort and dedication to to do well right so with that introduction let's jump right in and let's see our vocab to help you with your TOEFL speaking confidence right so here are the three three words we're gonna learn today to help you so that you improve overall and so the first one is tunnel vision you may be familiar with that the second one is pep talk, right? Pep being a great word for us to know. And the third being reframe. So by learning these words, you're going to build our vocabulary, strengthen it a little bit, and improve uh, your TOEFL speaking. So this is assuming you're a little bit familiar with the TOEFL, right? Really working with students who you need, you know, weeks or months to prepare because you need to improve the speaking a lot. You've been struggling. Maybe you need to improve two, four, plus points, maybe 10, 12, right? We've helped everybody within that range. And so what I'm going to show you now is this great resource we call the internet, right? <laughs> Which you're already on. And so what you see here is a tunnel. So what's a tunnel? We all know this. So a tunnel is what we see here. It's a noun. 
so it's an artificial underground passage especially one built through a hill or under a building road or river so what does this have to do with your speaking confidence and improving your dream score well when you get tunnel vision it kind of looks like this you're so focused on something that you don't notice anything around you as you can imagine sometimes tunnel vision can be helpful but for the TOEFL speaking, for you to do well, for you to have more confidence, we want to avoid this. So tunnel vision, right, years working with you to help you improve, I've noticed a, f a few things that are very important, right? So uh, with tunnel vision, one way that we notice that is the way you're thinking about your answer. So for example, once in this TOEFL speaking, you know you have four questions, right? And in each question, you have to record your answer. And almost every student we work with speaks better naturally than on the TOEFL for 12 plus years. So that means we're having a tutoring session right now. And I ask you to begin speaking. And or actually, before we start, I ask you, you know, what do you need help with in the TOEFL speaking? And you tell me and it's intelligent. It makes sense. I understand everything. And then I say, okay, let's try a question together. And we try a question. And the moment the timer starts, the way you speak tends to change. It tends to become rushed, right? We start to get a little bit stressed. I don't hear you breathe. I don't have a chance to hear what you're saying. There's no emphasis of words, no intonation. So the first thing is that's, that's tunnel vision. That means we're so concentrated on, I need to finish. I need to hurry up. I have to say everything. I have no time to think. I have no time to do anything but rush. So the first thing that I want to help you with is that your recording is evaluated by a human rater and a computer, right? The computer uh, evaluates your pronunciation, among other factors, and the greater your clarity. The way you speak naturally, we just want to enhance that with some professional focus, but you still need to be calm. So here's a very powerful way to make sure that you break tunnel vision. First, you know it. Write that word down and tell yourself, I'm going to avoid tunnel vision. And the way you do that is by making sure you're focused on clarity. Think about it. When you want to be clear, do you speak faster or slower? Slower, right? So this is the number one thing that is just so tough for students which is actually going to make our third word the second, which is reframe. So many of you are probably familiar with a frame, right? Something that goes around a picture. So to reframe, as you imagine, is to frame again. It's basically changing perspective. Um, another word here, so let me bring this up here. frame or express words or a concept differently. So it's like a new way of thinking. To improve your TOEFL score, you must think, what can I do to be clear? That's it. Everything else is distracting you from your focus. So that means when you want to speak faster, you need to speak slower. Because it's not about how much content you have. It's about how well you explain yourself in question number one, um, the student's opinion in question number two, the concept you're learning in question number three, and the lecture in question number four. And again, if this isn't so familiar to you, we're going to kind of see the groups of students that are, are working with us, what you record, so we can be a little bit more introductory in our lesson or be a little bit more detailed. So I appreciate your, pe uh, your patience, as this will be our first episode which we hope to launch at least in the beginning every week to really help you and guide you. So the reframe is powerful. So that means when you want to speak fast, it's time to speak slow. When you want to rush forward, it's time to think. So the next thing you say uh, will get you your dream score. This is very important. So the next thing I want to tell you is we have a lot of success stories. We share them with you. So a recent success story, very well trained, right, was part of our self-study material and our online classes, right? We had an interview with him for over an hour. We shared it with students. 
What I want to tell you was something amazing that he said for the speaking when he got a 28 from a 22, right? Top score, almost a perfect 30. So what he said was on question number four, that's where you hear a lecture and you need to repeat what you understood. He said he was looking at his timer, he was checking his notes because he's very well trained, right? And there were about, he went over in the beginning. He recognized that. So he's that well trained that he was able to recognize, oh, I'm speaking a little bit too much on the first part of the lecture. So there was only 17 seconds left for him to say the next part. So that normally requires, you know, 20, 30 seconds to speak well. So first, he didn't have that tunnel vision, right? He was breathing. Because <sighs> when you're just, I want to say everything, you can't adjust the TOEFL. You might have someone say something distracting. Uh, you, you might have somebody loud. You, you might look at your notes and forget what the word means. If you're so focused, you're just going to say whatever you can and move on. And your score will not change. In that moment, avoid tunnel vision. Just breathe. Know where you are. Know your goal is clarity. So with 17 seconds left, left because he was well trained, he'd been working with us for months, what he did was he recognized, I have to get to the point. I have to say the most important thing. That's what the graders are listening for. If you say everything and don't emphasize the important, you haven't shown that you understand that in one minute you have to choose what you say. It's not going to be so clear, and that's going to keep your score low. You know, uh, many of you were, were aiming to help you to get into the 20s to the top 20s, right? 25, 26, 28, 30 out of 30. So without clarity, you're going to be stuck between anywhere from the 15 to the 22, right? But after 22, when you want to get higher than that on the TOEFL speaking, right, your score out of 30, there is no escape. You, you, your explanation needs to have a sense of clarity. If I listen to you, I learn. So the reframing is we want to break tunnel vision and obsess about clarity. And remember that mind kind of smashing idea. That means we don't speak quickly. You may or may not, but you speak clearly. And for most of us, that means slowing down emphasizing important words for our listener, our grader, for our computer to catch what we're saying, right? The computer rating you and deliver complete information. So back to the success story, how he got a 28. He got to the point. He struggled a little bit, right? Because there was pressure. And he realized he had 10 seconds left and he hadn't gotten to the point. He tried to. What do you think he did? Because he was so well-trained, he actually closed his eyes as he was trained, as we trained. Just and as he's doing that, he's thinking. And then he said the final key words, right? Because we talk about, you know, in our training, when you have a question, there are so many details that are around one key point that if you say that one key point, you show your understanding. And if the rest of your recording is strong, it's sufficient to get your dream score. He got a 28. So with 10 seconds left, instead of what we all might do without training, which is rush, stress, stop talking, or you know, speak unclearly, he chose his words carefully, said one clear sentence that emphasized the point, and got a 28. Now the next thing I want to tell you is not just the reframing, but that's an incredibly well-trained student. That's somebody who's a professional TOEFL taker. So sometimes for us to get our top scores, we don't realize this exam is both an English exam and a standardized test. So we need to improve our fluency, but we also need to enhance our test-taking skill. So that's why sometimes we're on this journey for weeks more than we want, months more than we want, or even years No years more than we want. And that's why I wanted to create this series for you to let you know you're not alone. We have had students who, you know, are off and on because of life. Uh, they, they study hard. They don't see improvement. They get stressed. And so the TOEFL journey, which 
for pretty much everyone watching is probably just six months away maximum for success can be six years because you know that happens and we want to avoid that so again that's why we're, we're creating this series now what's the next thing because I talked a lot and you might think oh that's kind of tough let's go to our next word and this is so important pep right sometimes we say someone has a pep in their step right so what does pep mean it's a noun to have energy and high spirits liveliness as a verb to add strength you know liveliness or vigor which means energy life and so that is part of the word pep talk so what is a pep talk what I've noticed is that in every in almost every hour we teach every hour of material every two definitely anytime we work with you or any other student there's there needs to be some pep talk because during the work it's hard it's difficult we're challenged there's a moment where there needs to be five or ten minutes of really connecting with you discovering how you're feeling and reminding you you're an academic professional and you're doing something amazing you're improving your English in English that's how high level you are you're learning how to succeed in English with English so that means your level is really high so these kinds of things are not just to make us feel happy but to be honest so just to encourage you you need to be comfortable giving yourself pep talks when you feel you need them so that means within yourself before you start to study a tough section on the TOEFL right we say before every section starts the instructions are read out loud to you right so for the TOEFL speaking to gain confidence what you do is while the instructions are read out, read out loud to you you don't rush we teach you our students everyone close your eyes breathe and give yourself a pep talk right I can do it I'm well trained even if I make mistakes I can still get my dream score that's much better than Oh, this is so difficult. I didn't do well in the listening. Oh, this question is so tough. I hate question number one. I can't do this. I'm tired. I hate the TOEFL, right? One is going to contribute more to your success than the other, right? So make sure you realize you're a human. You're not a computer, though we want to have that power sometimes. So we need that pep talk. So how do we gain TOEFL speaking confidence? we understand to avoid tunnel vision which really contributes to stress and a tightening and I can't think and breathe and allow the truth to reframe the way we think about success that it's not about speaking quickly it's not about templates all those things can contribute but number one is clarity and wonderfully clarity is often best when we're calm and focused and careful with our words so this means you don't have to train to rush and finally before you begin always offer yourself a pep talk give yourself some language that directs you positively and honestly you're studying hard you you're improving your skills your dream score is coming so we go back now we have clarity on our new vocab right tunnel vision we avoid it uh, reframe that was the second one that we actually did which is clarity more than anything else calm clear speech and a pep talk we all need it so now we go to the next part which is questions and since this is the first episode we don't have any questions from you so below this video and you know depending on the app you're using or the device you might need to look around but basically below this video you see a link where you will be taken to our site where we have an app just like this where you can record your voice and let us know what help you need in the TOEFL speaking so you can talk about anything but it'll be concentrated on the TOEFL speaking so in our next episode episode 2 which we expect in about a week uh, you can check in check into the channel you're you're watching we're gonna post this on uh, YouTube and Facebook and on our site so you can check back and you'll see responses we'll choose about one to three questions that we think 
really summarize what everyone is asking and create a video, a lesson based on that. And so the goal is to keep this interaction going, teach you the vocabulary, which we just did, that came up during real classes and tutoring with students that help them to improve, as well as in our self-study course, and then questions to help you live. Does that make sense? Sound good? Excited? Good, good, good. So now the last part is partnership. So this is the part where we discuss how we can keep working together, if you'd like to, to make sure that you don't feel alone on the path to your dream score. So first, keep, keep uh, connected with what you're doing right now, right? Watching these videos, uh, following this brand new series. And in addition, when you click on the link, you'll be taken to our site where you see a lot more. And so here's how we help you train. Here's what we learned is best. We break down your training into three parts. So number one is self-study training. Number two is online classes. Number three is small group tutoring where we can work more personally. And number four is English strengthening when we find that our academic English is need some improvement before we can get our dream score. So to talk with, it, talk with you about this so that we can take the next step forward together right now and really build our skills specifically is we'll talk about self-study training. So this one's really important. So on the site when you click, you know, if you have the mobile device, your smartphone, right, you see these three bars, you click and then you can click on TOEFL prep and you see the material you can register for to work together. So self-study training, as you can imagine, are our online lessons where we have the text, video, and practice material to train you to improve your score. And so there are six options, right? You can pick and choose for the sections you want help with, right? You click on that, you'll learn about them, how they help. Each of these will train you to get to your up to a 30 out of 30. And we have had students do that, so know you're in good hands. We have our diamond course, which is uh, discounted where you get all four sections. So that's the number one course for everybody. So that's the basis of everything. Uh, online classes are extra. Small group tutoring is extra. English strengthening is extra. The diamond course is the key. And then we have our free course. That's really powerful. So for those of you who want to learn about Noteful, just want to test and see if you like the format or the way we teach, or get some extra help right away, you can click on that, s learn how it works, register, very powerful. That can get your dream score too. So the next thing we have is the online classes. Now we didn't always offer those. Several years ago we didn't, but now we offer them every month. So if you click on online classes, right, you'll see that we have classes this month for every section. And next week, we have it on the speaking, you know, when you see this video. So you can check on the site, learn how the classes work. We have clips so that teach you from the class, you know, 10, 20, 30 minute clips that will not only teach you, but show you exactly how it works. So we can break through what's challenging you. And we also, for those of you who kind of want to work together the whole month, again, we package them all each month so you can register with what we call the gold course, right? thought it was interesting diamond gold so that you can get all the help you need and again you can learn about that and what I want to let you know is you know for those of you th working on like maybe you are already a noteful student you have the diamond course you want more help because sometimes studying alone can be tough it's hard to find the hours to study sometimes we're stressed that's why we created this series too because we wanted even though you may not take the classes, not everybody can afford it, not everyone has high-speed internet access, we still wanted to create that powerful sense of community and, and help over time, like a real engagement week after week through this series. And so what our online classes do is they basically train you, you know, we do practice together, in a way that builds on what you learn for the self-study material. So that's why we have one, two, three, four, right? First, you start with self-study, build your basics. It's like an encyclopedia, it teaches you everything. You need more help, you need more motivation, you wanna ask some questions, online classes, right? And then if you find that there's something that, you know, like sometimes we read something and we learn something 
but it's it's just not connecting something's missing and we can't see what it is that's where small group tutoring comes in so every month we offer small group tutoring in, in almost all sections of the TOEFL where we get to work together in a small group of six and actually work together me and you and overcome what's challenging you in a really positive powerful group environment and so in small group tutoring for example in October we're pretty much all sold out but you see you see how it works and you can expect this in November and December and if you're watching this video you know long time after this first video initially aired we'll have that for you when you click on the link for the month that you're watching and so finally and the next thing I want to say is we also have uh, recordings of clips of our small group tutoring so a lot of powerful free content there to teach you because it's a real live recording and also let you know how it works so that way you know everything we do we want it to help you somehow and then uh, the last thing number four English strengthening as we said before is because we've noticed sometimes TOEFL success is difficult because we need to improve 10 20 30 points and we need to sometimes even though we're academic professionals we feel confident we got to build things even more within ourselves for fluency and so in English strengthening you see that we have three courses right when you click on that in the site you'll see these options we have what we call the jewel so you see our theme diamond gold jewel and so what that does is it's a powerful 24 lesson course that trains you on grammar that trains you on your academic English so that you have that support to boost your TOEFL score it's very deep very powerful you click on click on that and you'll be able to learn about it and we have the same thing for beginner TOEFL vocabulary 250 plus words that are critical to know more advanced TOEFL vocabulary if the beginner is something that you're comfortable with or you complete so once again that's kind of the whole TOEFL prep and that's how we can keep working together right our partnership is both through this format now really excited so that we can connect and to take the next step then it's it's with registering for one of these courses and then we just keep working together until you succeed so I wanna say it was a pleasure I'm so excited to be starting this series with you I appreciate how hard the journey can be sometimes how lonely it can be right life happens and sometimes we have so many things we have to deal with right we have the same thing with the pandemic is just stay strong don't give up on your dreams we're here with you until you pass until you get your dream score and I promise you you will stay strong stay focused stay connected and until next time have a great day bye bye